BJ from Morgan Gold. I've got my guest here, Mitchell here, formerly of the Beans and Nice podcast. <laughs> On hiatus. And future, right? Yes, future yes. member. And we're about to play Blaze I'm gonna let Mitchell take it away, but it's from our friends at 25th Century Games. Well, actually, this is your copy of it. This is not the copy that they sent us, but this is from 25th Century Games, so shout out to Chad for that. Uh, we played it earlier, but we played a pre-production copy. He's got the actual copy, Mitchell. So take it away. Tell us about Blazing. Yeah, sure. So Yeah, sure. So you're basically creating your heraldic crest for your family, um, you know, back in the gap in medieval times, I suppose. Um, and so we are going to be drafting cards and playing them to our board. Um, it's not super complicated. On your turn, you can either get two cards or play a card. Those are your two actions. Um, there's two different kinds of cards. These are called tinctures and these are called elements. For simplicity purposes, I just call them circles and squares based on the icons up here. Um, because whenever you're playing them to your board, you have to match the symbol and the shape. Um, and whenever you're playing uh, some type of element or tincture to your board, um, you're going to get points according to uh, the, the number on the shield, um, but you also have to discard cards equal to that number or more than it uh, to play it. You know, it could change, of course. No can, change? No change. Okay. Even if you can play multiple cards on your turn if you, if you have enough, but you can't use the change from one card to pay for another card. Um, and yeah, you have these global goals. You're trying to get certain icons on your, your crest. Um, you also have um, some limitations right here. So your tinctures, the, these uh, slashes on the equal signs, you can't have the same tincture or circle symbol in this row or in this column right here. Otherwise, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we'll get these little uh, animal crests to put on our, uh, our shields uh, whenever we get to the uh, multiples of 10, if we're the first ones there. Everybody else gets a little um, Equal. Equal. Yeah. Equal. Um, basically, once on your turn, you can do a free action, which will basically let you take a card from anywhere, including the display, um, the discard, or play a card for a cost of one, and or ink, refresh the display. And the ink actions are listed on the board. Right. right. So th okay. this is your regular action, this or this, and these are your equal actions. And uh, yeah, we're going to go until the, the board is covered, or you've done all your global goals, or you have gotten to 50 points. And then you're going to get points for um, having the most of each of these uh, symbols the here. Symbols, right. Yeah. Right. Um, your points from your global goals, points for your inkwells, and these animals, and then points for covering your board. The only thing that's a little, uh, can be a little confusing is you, you have to align your cards within each row to be the same. So, like, you know, this could be pink or green. So, if I choose to match it to pink, all the rest of my cards have to be on the bottom. Oh, yeah. You can use this guy right here to break that rule, but if you don't fix it on a future turn, you're going to lose eight points at the end of the game. And that's what's kind of cool. You can fix it and then come back later and put it mm -hmm. back on by just putting a card back on, over it, right? Right. You can essentially overwrite the card and fix it um, if it wasn't the right symbol or it was the wrong alignment. Even And if you don't want to use this, it is possible for you to change the alignment of a whole row by covering all the cards in one turn. Um, I, what I really like about it is you can really audit your points because during the game they're all going to be coming from the cards. Um, yeah, there's a couple little catch-up mechanics like if you're the first one to um, to go on a specific goal, everybody else is going to get an ink well. But uh, that's pretty much the game. It's uh, Mechanically it's very simple, but man, it is uh, brain burning in a good way whenever you're trying to figure out where to put these different pieces. So we, we start off with a hand of four cards. You want to? I notice that this looks a little bit different from the way I played it. So this is these are the two player sided of the cards. Two player sides of the cards is what it is. Yeah. So each card uh, is double sided. So for the different player counts, you can flip it around. Um, so it, the only thing that's different is it's going to change the amount of victory points that um, the different placements get. This was a much bigger deal. We played with four players yesterday, and getting first on here was seven points, as opposed to with two players, it's only three points. So. In my experience, my two games I've played, I feel like this is going to be less what you're relying on in a two-player game, these global goals, even though they're very tempting. But um, you're, it's only a two-point spread difference as opposed to uh, seven points whenever you're playing with four people. That makes sense. Yeah. How do you determine first player? Uh, it's just random. Why don't you go first? Yeah, I'll let you go. That okay. way I can, I can kind of refresh my memory. Sure. It's been a year since I played this. I played a pre-production copy mm -hmm. during the Kickstarter campaign, but it's fulfilled uh, to all the backers. You can get it out in retail right now. You found it online, right? Yeah, yeah. Fun Again. Uh, it was on, uh, had a good price, 27 bucks on Fun Again with their uh, liquidation that they're going through right now. So uh, I picked it up and uh, yeah, I was glad I got it. I liked it even more than I thought it would. I got it mostly just on the theme. It looked pretty cool. Um, this is the theme right up your alley. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. If it only it came with a big oversized sword. <laughs> I know. I mean, maybe that's the expansion. You know, the oh, sword yeah. goes behind it. So anyway, I'm looking at my hand. I'm, I'm looking at these global goals, seeing what's going to be best for me to play here. Um, 
So we want to get that guy out. So sure, why don't we do this? All right, I'll go ahead and play. So you drafted a card first? I didn't. No. So you can either play a card or draft, oh, draft. cards. Wow, on your turn. not even drafting. Is there a hand limit? Uh, seven at the end of your turn. I've never gotten to that. Okay. Also, on your turn for free, you can re refresh the display one time if you ever see three of the same symbol anywhere. Okay. Um, three of the same symbol or three of the... So the color or this symbol. I don't remember the term the for that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Sure. Um, so I'm playing that and I'm going to discard, I guess, this guy for that. Move this for this card. And then I'm also going to play this one because I can pay for both of them. So that's me and I get six And you play points. as many as you want during that, As right? many as you can pay for. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's me. And that is part of the economy of the game. You have no cards. Right, so next nope. time I'm going to have to draft. And how many do you draft? Uh, two. So you can get, there's squares and circles. You can get one of each or two of the same kind. And then if you top deck and you don't like it, you can then switch those, any of those with a display. Yeah, that's, like. that's friendly. Yeah. Right? Like that's that. really pretty friendly. Okay. Uh, how about our, let's see. Oh, I've never seen this one. What is this so you must one? have at least... Um, one three-point card and at least one five-point card, but you have to have more threes than five. So really, you need at least two threes oh, and a five. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that is... I think I'm also going to play, but I've got to match this. I don't remember how I match those symbols. So though. you want to... So this is going to tell you where it can be played. Yep. The circles... The circles can all go anywhere. You anywhere see. the question. But works, remember, right? within the here you cannot have the same circle symbol, and within here you can't. Right. So it's wild, but it's all. There's and only. And that's what these two symbols mean, right? It's telling you right, that it can't you can't have the same one. Right. right? But equal. there's only three total circle symbols, so be careful. So there's not a big variety of them. And with the question marks, I can actually just put it here and fix it later, right? Yeah. No, you cannot. Once it's there, it's locked unless you fix the whole row. So that card will never move up there. You can override this later. I thought there was a card that you could put either one until the next card is played, and then you can fix it to match that. Maybe per, I'll overlook that. I'll double check. Sure so that's a tincture that. card. Placing yeah. cards. Just double check that for me. Oh, you're right. As long as no other card has been placed in the yeah, same so, row, you're right. So, if I placed, so specifically of the ones with two question marks, so these three. Yeah, if I placed one here, yeah. then that wouldn't work. But placing this one first, you're right. let's yeah, me kind of uh, change it later on. All right, so I'm going to do that, but I, need, I do need to play at least a three out there, right? So I'll just right. burn this one, and where do I burn it? Just uh, if it's a tincture here, if it's an element here, a square for there. All right. And uh, let's see. I think that'll be it. Okay. So now I need to draft some cards. Um, let me get this. And uh, lots of symbols. Yeah, definitely. Actually, no, let me get this and this. Yeah, refresh. That's my turn. And I do get three points of that, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. And then, uh, yeah, I might as well go ahead and... Well, that's... I should not have done that, but that's fine. I'm going You're not to... Okay with it? What's that? You're not okay with your plan? Yeah, no, I just realized that the only... I already covered my one pink thing, but that's all right. I will survive. I'm going to... Okay, that's it. I was thinking about spinning my inkwell, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm going to draft some cards, so... And I can draft right from this row, too, if yep. I want to? Yeah. From the top or from here. Okay. I'm going to draft uh, this one here. And then I'll have to draft from the other side. No, right? you can no? go two oh, from this side if you like. Side. Okay. And then I will draft... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Yep. You are up. All right. Got this guy and this guy. Interesting. You never really uh, hit that hard seven limit, huh? I Very have never gotten yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. I like that. But I need to. Cover that. Okay. And that when it, when they have symbols like this, that means anywhere on the board or yeah, in yeah. a row. Okay. Anywhere. anywhere on the board. Okay. Don't don't miss this. That means you have to have three castles at least. Three so castles. Three swords. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, it's tough. Okay. I'm gonna grab these two then. All right. So let's see if I can play some stuff. Um, I will use this three to play that three. 
The tinctures of the circles, and what are these called again? Um, I'm saying elements, but I think the element's the term for any card. Device. Device, Device. Device. that's okay. what it's yeah. called. So elements are what's on the card. I yeah, guess, element right? is, any of these cards are called yeah. elements. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And then I will play this using this, so that's a total of five more points. So because I crossed that, uh, the first one across here, I get this, oh, and nice. you get an inkwell. And that's kind of a wild symbol right there. Yeah, so that stands for any of these symbols, not for in game, yeah. but like for this. Ah, this yeah. one specifically says you can't use a wild for this one. No, oh, got it. Sure. That makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this one here. And that's going to lock me into having to play the yellow right, right there. Right, unless you yeah. redo the whole. Unless I rough. cover the line. Oh, that's yeah. rough. Okay. Now I gotta spend four to do that, so I'm gonna do that. And then <laughs> these symbols have to match these things, right? No. The the square in the square, yes. And there's nothing. Well, there's it'll, it tells you on the card where it's. So oh, that, that one's right. only available there, and you've already covered uh, it. Yeah, that's what I ran into a while ago as well. Yeah, that was less. I forgot about this little symbol. That makes it actually pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that little symbol there. Yeah, there's, I, I think, at least four colors where there's only one space you can put them. Mm -hmm. You can always overwrite if you want. I think I am going to do yeah. that. I'm going to overwrite it and then spin these. So, real quick before you do that, if you're going to overwrite it, it has to now go to the top. And this one is not in the top. You have to overwrite the whole row if you can do that, unless you want to use this guy. Oh, you can't just put it there? You no, the whole it... row has to be the same alignment, unless you use this. So you can use this if you'd like, and then later, when it, if you overwrite this, you can get that back. Okay, I'll do that then. So I do it like... So what we do is we just put it on top and then move the whole thing move up. Move the whole thing And up. that way we can still audit. So it's nine up the points. more points. Gets me to 12, right? Five nine and four. more oh, Yeah, five and four. Well, you already got the four, whenever no. you played it down. No, I only had three points. Well, you should, I guess you should have gotten it. Well, no, I just played it this turn. Oh, you're playing two cards this turn. Two cards okay, I'm turn. sorry. Yeah, I okay. So I'll roll it like that, and then I don't have to do that because I've spent this. Right, so that goes on the card, so you know. Oh, that's how it is, yeah. Yeah. So Wait, no, it goes on this card, right? Well, no, this is the card that is breaking it. So, okay. yeah. so now I need to put a card on the bottom? So you can fix it in a couple ways. You could put a card that, mo that moves this up, or you could put a card that moves that down. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, you should have... Twelve points then. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just grab the these two, and then I'm going to use my inkwell to play a card at a cost of one. Uh, which is one, one less? Or just no, one. one total? Okay. It, not that it really matters. It's just a free action that I want to do right now. So I'm gonna do that, and here, and that's gonna get me. So I have that symbol. I have that symbol, and I have two castles and a wild. And wild. So I'll get that. That means you get an inkwell. All right, go over the, the four inkwell actions again. So um, draw from the display. Yep. Draw or the top top deck. Draw from the discard. Oh yeah. That's wipe that's cool. everything. Yep. Or play a card at a cost of only one. Of only one. Nice. Okay. I am gonna draw two off the top, and I can look at them. Mm -hmm. You can switch them out for other squares. Oh, how did this get here? This is not supposed to be here. If this changes what you want to do, I'm okay if you put that back. Okay. Mm, okay, I think I'm gonna stick with what I got. You're okay. up. All right, so remember, if you ever see three of the same symbol, you can discard. So I see three pinks, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna get rid of this because I nice. do not like those options. You can do that once per turn for free. Hmm. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna top no top deck. No, I'm a top deck from here and see what I can get. Um, I'll keep this one and I'll switch this out for that. That's me. All right, I'm gonna take uh, these two here, and then if I want to, I can place one of these. Right, mm -hmm. once a turn, you can use one of those. Okay. I want to put. Oh shoot! That's the one. 
Yeah, it, it can. I can put it here, right? So no, no. You can put it on the bottom. No, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. No, I can't because this. Well, no. Is on so the, top. the this is showing that this is breaking the rule, which means this is oh, set so the rule. Oh, so I'm good then. Yes, you're good. Okay, got it. And I need to spend three to do that, so I'm going to do that here. I think it's one three three points. points. One, two, three. You're up. All right. Um. Still not seeing what I want to see here. Oh, actually, that, that's not bad. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to top deck it. Yeah, I'll keep that. That's me. OK. I'm going to grab these two here. You're up. All right, I'm going to play this using this three. That's three points, one, two, three. Then I'm going to play this using this two. That's two points, and that's going to get me three swords. Wait, where is it? There, three swords, a colorful thing, and a pink. Nice so you know. get another quill. I'm going to draft this one. Oh. Mamu Gamers. Oh, yeah. So we, we thought about it. That's Jared. That's Jared. Yeah, we thought about it, Jared. And then if I want to, I can spend one of these as a free action. Yep. And I'm going to do that to fix this like that. Yeah, I, I would just keep the card underneath it, put your little sploosh down there. Yeah. And that fixes that, right? Yeah, you just get the points. Five points. One, two, three, four, five. I've hit this thing. You're the first one to hit it, so you okay. get one of these, and I get one. And you're up. Yeah, Jared, we should we should have played it, but I, I wanted to play uh, Blazing. Oh, I forgot to do my last two. I'm still not doing that. I forgot how puzzly this thing is, man. It is, but it, it's quick that, you know, if, if you mess up too much, like it's a 30-minute game, you know, just play it again. So before you take your turn, I can play as many as I qualify for, right? As long as you can pay for okay. it, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that then. I'm going to spend this one and that one. You're doing two, right? Mm-hmm. Give myself two more points, and you're up. Okay. And that's a lot of symbols over there on that one. Huh? This one? No, this one right here. It's oh, yeah, yeah. Basically one of each, and you can't use the wild. Oh, that's rough. Take this. Okay, so wait. I do have two threes and a five. So you should have that. Okay, good. That just happened, right? Yeah, it just yeah. happened. So I get another one of these. I think I'm gonna take this card and yeah, I just played that five, so I'll go ahead and top deck, see what I can get. So Jared, what did you end up? Uh, he was going to Anubis, looking oh, to pick up a game tonight. So, yeah, he was. He was, <laughs> he was just making a pass by. So what did you end up getting? I was trying to get him to get the to order the Origins First Builder expansion. But I think he was looking at Isis. I. ISS Vanguard, do you know anything about Oh, like no, no, I've heard of it, but I don't know. It's an Awaken Realms game. I'm pretty sure Adam the Austin has it. Okay. He came in. What? How'd you get that one? Oh, okay. man, you're killing me on that. It's it's three points. I don't think it's going to be the end of yeah, the world. Yeah, it's not a big, big, big of a wash, right? Okay. Let's see now. I saw one of the ones that I need, and I have not seen. Oh, you took it. That's why. Okay. This guy? No, this oh. one right here. Oh, okay. I just haven't seen it again in a long time, but um, I'm sure they're all in there. And this is the you have to specifically play that one, right? The, the colors, you mean? Yeah, the, yeah. You have to specifically play that one, right? Yeah, there. yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. So that is gonna influence what I want to do. I'm gonna take this one and. And I think I'm just going to take one off the top here. Nope, I'm going to take this one. All right, I'm done. Okay. I am going to... Oh, man, it's tough. I'm going to do this. Go here and hope for the best. I will, I'll keep that. 
And then I will use this guy, discard here to overwrite this for two points. That's me. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go here, just two points. And here, just three points. Right? Mm -hmm. Five points. But I'm out of cards. All right. Ooh, I'm out of cards. I could draw cards if I spin one of these things. Yes, you can draw one card. But these are points though, right? One point in yeah. How many do you draw if you spin one? One. It's one card. But it can be from the discard, which is nice. Yeah. Um, do I get to look at the discard board? It's gotta be the top of the discard. Oh, that's yeah. right, it is the top, that's right. That, Cause that would, that would make it. All right, you're up. Okay. Um, where does this pink guy go? Oh, wait, I think I just qualified for something. Yep, pop, 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 and the Fleur Lee. Yep, yep. So that's this one. And it's only one point, though. So it's a two point differential. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to go. You can only qualify for one per turn. Is that what it is? No, no, you can clap. I think I have the other one then. Which this? Yeah. Oh, nice. I've That's a hard one. That, that. Um, you don't have a crown. Do you? Oh, no, there's a crown. Yeah, I do have a crown. And the the brick. Swords, castle, cross, crown, fleur de lis. Yeah, I got it, yeah. right? Okay. So I get one of these then. Okay. Um, so you should. No, it's only the first one to go there that you get that correct, right. Yeah, correct, correct. Um, I'm trying to decide what. So, mountain. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna. Now it's getting tough. Now that I'm running out of space. I know we're running out of spaces here. All right, I'm gonna draw here I watched a tip on YouTube today, and the guy was like, "You really? This game is so puzzly. You really should focus on a row at a time. Because if you don't, you start to really mess yourself up." I can see you know? that. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. I don't know if it is, but I remember getting jammed up a lot of times because I like to just go all over the place. You know. Um, I guess I'll spin this to draw one more. Okay. Are you adding your points? Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah, a lot of mine are lower point value ones. You're playing some higher ones. I'm done. Oh, wait, I could spin one to play. To one play for one for a cost of one. Okay. Well, I'm going to play this one. Oh, it's a. Yeah. No. That's circle only, right? Yep, I'll play it here for a cost of one. Okay. And um, that's two points. So close. Man. So I need, I need one more. Six. Yeah, I need... I'm I forgot that Jared you. played it. Jared had actually played Blazin with me. So I knew Dave had played it, but I don't remember. And I knew Jay had played it. but We played it a bunch that week that we got it. So we only had it for like a week or two. I think I had to send it on. We had to hurry up and play it a bunch of times and send it on. All right, that's me. All right. Um... Could just go that out, but they're so. You're not leaving me a lot of choices here, <laughs> you know? Uh, take this and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to spend that. And I grab, I can grab one more card basically, right? From Based on this, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't have to be from discard. It can be any Correct. one of the Anywhere, ones I've seen, including right? the top. But I think this will refresh first because that's something separate. Okay. So that might help you out. Oh uh, yeah, I'll take that one. All right, so I'm going to be playing. I need to move that, so I'm doing that. It's going to be six points, and so I need to play four and four. four. So I'm going to discard that. That. So that's going to allow me to get this one. Uh oh, that's one more and that'll end the game, right? Yeah, but no fives have come But out. I get one more turn because you were the first player. Well, regardless, everybody else oh, gets one more turn. turn. Yeah. I was thinking of Boom Lake. Uh, I'm going to take this. Eight o'clock, Dre's supposed to be coming in. Yeah. Are you coming, J uh, Jared? You don't want to miss the Felds, man. The blinged out Felds. Uh, yes. 
Alright. You're up. Haha, -ha, that's what I wanted. A five. Oh, you got it? And then. I'm kind of ignoring those things at the top again, man. To my peril. You can't ignore those things at the top. Okay, mine? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go here. Lay that. And then I'm going to tincture there and play that. So that's seven more points, right? Mm -hmm. And two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I qualify for something. Green, checkerboard. Three castles. One, One two, three. Three, yeah. three yes. And you just got another animal thing, right? You just crossed the Yeah, I do. I'll get the animal thing, right? Okay. Um, I thought there was only five animal things. Oh yeah, there are yeah. five. Okay, you have one of them. Okay. I'm gonna go here, and I gotta pay both of these for five points. So that's thirty-three. Okay. We'll check in with us, Jared. You'll get one more turn. Err. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I actually messed myself up because I forgot this one is only tincture, so I can't even play the last one to get that last oh, one pointer. Yeah. So I guess I just need to play the biggest tincture I can play. There's a two. Because um, I could spend one of these to play. Mm -hmm. One for a cost of one. Yeah. So I'll spend a point, but I can get two points. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll take this, spend the one, put that for a cost of one. All right. Okay, so for scoring, we're going to look at each of these symbols. So uh, wilds don't count. So flirtilies are first. Oh, wait. Two points. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> so how many flirtilies do you have? I only have one. One. Okay, so none of us get points in a two-player game. Right. Castles, I only have one. Three. Two, two points. Oh, I do have two, but you still have three. So you get two points. Crowns, I have that one. That does not give me an animal, right? No, no not in the game. Yeah. Okay. I have one crown. One. So no points. Swords, I have none. But you're the sword master. You I, well, I had a, a bunch of it. I covered them up. Two points. Golly. And then crosses. I've got two. All right, I got two got points. Me. Okay. Uh, then points from here. So it's first place is three, second place is one. So three, one, four, eleven, three, seven, eight. eight. Only eight. And then one point for each one of these we have left. That's one for me. Oh, many. Okay. Oh, and I get this. Though. Yeah, two points for each of these. Ooh. And you don't have your splat out on the board, so you're good. If you would have covered your board, it'd be two points, but you got me. Or is that 54, 54 to 49? That's another thing I like about this game. That's my third one I've played, and it's all been pretty close. Every time we played it, it was really close. Mm -hmm. um, there's not a lot of player interaction, because I really wasn't paying attention to yeah. your board. And the only reason is... There's so much to think about yes, on your own yeah. board. I think that if you played, if this is one of those games that you and your wife or your family played a lot, mm -hmm. you would probably get to be where I'm going to those cards out, you know? Yeah. Because early in the game, there's a lot of room for maneuvering. But right, no, late, late in the game, game, exactly. Like, I don't even care what to Yeah, we about. really could have screwed each other up um, early if we were game. looking at each other's boards. I agree. But yeah, there's a lot going on for you to think about, to be thinking about somebody else as well. But I like it, and it's quick, and I played it with four players yesterday, and it wasn't too much longer uh, regardless, so it's not going to slog on. Uh, I don't remember any of our games ever taking longer than about 30 minutes. Yeah, Does I mean, the box says 30 right? to 60 minutes. Uh, with four players, it was probably about 45 minutes yeah. yesterday. I know two-player games were right at 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes sounds about right. I have to go back and check the tape. But, I mean, it's a lot of game for such a, sh a small package in, in terms of time. I mean, you know. But this little mechanic here with the, you know, up or down... It really takes some planning. You know, I, oh, yeah. I had to really think about it. Did I get all mine out? I sure did. Oh, so then you get two more points. Why is that? If you complete your board, two points. Oh, what? Oh. When did you complete your board? Just the last On turn? the last turn. Okay. I got that, I got that um, this thing here for two points mm -hmm. on my last turn. I think it is, right? I think everything's completed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw, I think it was a the Board Game Go Co video. Some people in the comments were saying... They wish that as you were laying cards, you were actually creating the crest, which I think would be cool, but that would, I don't know how you would do that. You wouldn't be able to see the icons and stuff. You know, kind of how like in Canvas, you're making a picture, mm -hmm. that yep. kind of thing. But with this kind of mechanic, I don't think that'd be possible. 
Uh, I mean, they kind of got that going on. You know, you have a, you know, green on it and whatever, a label. It's, it's telling you what's on it. It's just you don't visually it's see it. It's telling you what's on the shield, right? You're, mm -hmm. you're getting all these little things and, you know, but I see what you're saying. It's not quite the same as actually building out the shield. But then you'd lose all the different things. You'd exactly. have to have it on a separate sheet. Exactly. It, so I, I don't think it's possible. Yeah. Um, but I think this, the theme still comes through. I, I, I like the theme. It's fun. It's unique. I haven't seen any games like this You could before. drill it down and all it is is colors and symbols and things. But that's not the way. The way that they designed the game from an aesthetic standpoint, it does feel like you're putting stuff on a shield. You yeah. know? So I do, I do like that part. Yep. And that's Blazin from... Um, 25th Century. Yeah. It's Dave Conklin with gorgeous art, as usual, from Ian O'Toole. He's just a master, uh, master craftsman when it comes to board game art. Fantastic stuff. On I like uh, even the, the, the crenellations of the castle. Isn't They're being used for the uh, the global goals. Well, that's that a cool unique. touch, right? Mm -hmm. And and here here's one thing that I'd forgotten about when I was watching the video to to prep for it. Like this is just such a perfect demarcation right between, between the tinctures. The two. And yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah. If you look at that, it's like it's got a perfect thing, and it fits with the schematic of the of the book with the little bookmark. Mm -hmm. You know. And these cool. cards are really cool too. Like you're not having to go through your deck and take out all the cards that aren't two player. You know, you just flip them around. It's what's on the back side? Uh, different player counts. So there's three players and oh, there's four pull players. Pull out the card and it's two, three, and four all on the same card. Yep. That's that's excellently designed. And, and these there's five different decks, so you get one of each. So they'll never all be the exact same kind. You know. Yes. But yeah, so my game. I just see if Dre is on the way. Not quite yet, but I got him up. All right. They're heading to Surge Entertainment. Have you ever been there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the Drew Brees thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's Blazin from 25th Century Games. Thanks to Mitchell for uh, giving the refresher. And if you like puzzle games, there's just no reason not to play this game. And Jeremy, our friend, uh, he loves spatial puzzles. He's like, this is just a spatial puzzle, and I love it so much. And I'm usually not good at puzzle games, stuff like that, yeah. but something about this, I don't know, maybe it's the theme. It, it, it doesn't feel like a puzzle. Um, it feels like I'm, you know, trying to line up things for my family, you know. I just, I love the artwork, and that really, it carries the theme for me. This is one where a lot of people say, oh, all that aesthetic stuff doesn't really matter. This is one where... The aesthetics make it into that shield game that, that we like. So, Definitely. And it's a, it's a cool thing. Mm -hmm.